Hey everybody and welcome to Workshop Studios. Today's project is on our John Deere D155 lawn tractor and specifically the throttle cable doesn't want to stay up here. It wants to slide back down as we're going. It doesn't have quite enough drag on it and I think that we can take this out and tighten that up inside but I don't know that yet. So let's take this unit out first. So to do that, open it up. And it's going to have two things. One is that it lifts up from inside there and then we got to take it off down here, right there. So I'm going to take this off first and then I'll try and pull that out of there. All right, so I've got the cable off up down below. Oops, you can see that right there. So now I'm going to come up here and reach under there and see if I can't just kind of pop it out of there. Let's see if we can do that. All right, well, that was a little more work than the other videos had said. So what I had to do is reach up under there, you couldn't see what I was doing, and push on the edges, and I'll show this in a minute, with a screwdriver like that, and then it would pop out. So let's take it out of there now. So there we go, now it comes out. So these are the little, brush that off of there. These are the little tabs I was pushing on to get it to come up. In fact, that one looks like it's stuck now. And there's ones on either side here and here. And that little edge is what holds it into the plastic. And that one's stuck to it, it looks like. All right, so take it into the shop. All right, so <clears throat> here we are with the throttle out. And first thing you can notice, hopefully you can hear this, hear that rattling around in there? So I'm guessing something's loose. There's two screws to take this apart. So let's do that. See if we can find anything wrong inside. Probably all fly apart with springs and everything. Well, there's the two screws out. Nothing's flown apart yet. So let's we'll see here. We'll do this together. Come on. Should just pull apart here, I guess. Yeah, let me get a screwdriver. All right, so let's see what we find in here. Um, it's coming apart slowly. All right. There's a shaft here. Well, sort of a shaft, a little plastic place that, where the two come together, I think that's probably what's making it a little bit more challenging, but here we go. Let's take a look. Well, that's pretty simple. I don't see any place to adjust it. I don't see anything what was rattling around in there. Oh, this little metal bit. That was what was rattling around in there, so I don't know what that does. What's the metal bit do? Anybody out there know what the metal bit does? <laughs> See if anything else is in there. I'm going to take this all the way off here. That's the orange thing. Take it off the shaft. I'm kind of reaching in there. Maybe you can see it better here. There we go. Alright, so I'm just pulling the the cable out a little way so we can see what's going on here. All right, so a couple of washers, and a couple more washers. You guys remember how to put those in there, right? Okay, and oh gosh, I don't see what 
is the adjustment to keep it from sliding around. A pretty simple mechanism in here. So I'm not sure what this did. This little pin. Looks like it's about the right size for that. I'm not sure. No, that's not right. Well, let me... Aha, here we go. What's this over here? No, that's not it. There are these little funky things here. I'm not sure what those are all about. Hmm. Well, this is a, a most interesting and very simple mechanism in here. So let me let me have a closer look and I'll come back to you. Okay, so a couple of quick explanations now that I've looked at it. Um, so the the thing that keeps this from rotating too uh, too quickly, yeah, that's probably easier to see. So there's a spring right there, right in here, and this little metal pin goes on top of that spring. And I think something's broken in here because that shouldn't just wobble around in there like that. All right, so another observation here is the pin, I think, goes in this way. So it actually acts as a roller. Do you see that where it, it would roll on this surface here? So it would roll back and forth and just put pressure on it. It also has these notches. Do you see those? And that's where the throttle would drop in. And the other interesting bit is that we have one of these same little compartments like that over on this side. And you can see right there that plastic has split right there. And that this obviously has let the little pin escape. So I only found one pin and spring in here even though this surface clearly has had wear on both of them. So I'm missing a pin. Oops, let me get over here. I'm missing a pin and a spring. This pin here, or roller, if you maybe that's a better word for it. I'm missing a pin. And let me show you what the spring looks like. And a spring. So this roller and this spring are missing from the other side. I don't know where they would have gone. This looks like a closed unit, but um, there you go. So I don't think they rolled off the bench anywhere. I'm looking around here. But if I was to get it back together, I'd have to put them in like this. Let's see how I'm doing that? It would have to go in there like that. And I'm going to put a little WD-40 on there. because It needs to kind of roll. I'm not exactly sure how it does that with that spring down there. It might not roll. It might just be round and let the thing slip by. But let's see, just for fun, let's just see if we can get this in there. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going to try to push that, that roller pin down and slide this over the top of it. Yeah, I think I got it, actually. Okay, good. And now, so, well, let me back up here. So now, when I get to that place where it clicks, let's see if it'll do it. There we go. Yeah, it dropped into something there. There. That clicked. And that might be the choke would be after that. I'm guessing. Let me mess with it a little more here. Well, I got it back together with that little roller pin in place. Sorry I didn't show you, but it was it was kind of a hassle. Um, and it does click. Hopefully you can hear it. So now I'm gonna I'm at throttle speed and I'm gonna go into the um, into the choke. So back down. There you hear that click. That's that's supposed to be top throttle. 
and then all this is now much tighter. So, so having said that, I probably could use this unit again, um, but the fact that it's missing one of the springs and roller pins means probably best to replace it. So I think I will do that, and we'll put a new one in. So next we, next thing is we'll be putting a new unit in. All right, we got the new one in. Let's open her up here. I think it was uh, $40 from Amazon or something like that. And I know it worked without having to do all this, but it was really a pain to uh, <laughs> deal with the uh, slipping uh, of the uh, throttle while I'm driving. I'm trying to hold it there. So I'm going to make sure everything matches up. There it is. Get out of the plastic. And there we go. And let's get a new one. And oh, yeah, that looks like a pretty good match. Don't you think? New one, old one. So you guys comment down below whether you think. Uh, it's worth 40 bucks to put a new throttle on just so the thing stays at speed rather than have to hold on to the, the handle here. I'm sure you, you have, some of you may have run into the same problem. It, uh, I've, I've lived with it for, I guess, about a year, uh, and now I've decided to fix it. So let's go put this in. All right, so install should be fairly straightforward, I hope. Slide that through there. There. And push those little clippies till they clip, and they did. Good. Okay, that's better. So, what I'm going to do here is, before I put it in the clippy, I want to get over here and hook it onto the onto the throttle. I'm going to assume it's that one right there. All right, sorry I couldn't show you all that, but it goes in this bottom hole down here. It looks like so. I had to kind of get in there tight. Would have been not enough room for you guys to see as well, so I'll pop this guy out. There we go. Back in there. Okay. And so here's full throttle. Uh, that's choke, and this then this is full throttle here, and that's off. So let's check it out and make sure we got it right. So by the way, I was doing a little bit more maintenance on this. I was greasing these up i think these were making noise a lot of noise so the spindles is what that's called so this is the mower deck down here so i got my grease gun out and greased up each of the spindles <coughs> through the uh the grease fitting there and then i also greased up here this has a grease fitting as well on the uh steering you can see it right here so I like to grease those up every once in a while. It makes the steering a lot easier. All right, let's start this up and see what it's like. All right, let's see how it does. So I'm gonna go full choke. good and solid like it's not going to slip when we go out driving so there's another project done thanks for watching 
please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next video good luck on your projects bye